warning. Hey, crew carrier is here to keep you safe or something. Oh, Are you? Well, I'm not religious, so it's like... Yeah, you are. Now. Jesus or Hellfire. Sam and Tim were thinking that you might be gay. Why? You met a girl that knows all the bands that you know, and you probably did not forward the conversation. I did. Not a gym, dude. You gotta go to a real gym. Still worked out, man, isn't it? No. Yeah. All you did was push a little metal. <laughs> All you do is just fucking stand there and just watch people work out. What's up guys? So yeah, just saw Mike. Mike's life is changed enough, I guess. Everything's everything's changing for the better with him. Hopefully his truck lasts a 400,000 miles. You guys may think that I hate old trucks or I hate his old Ford or something. Maybe you don't think that way at all. But I've always just made fun of him for just little things about it and stuff. And because just the way he treats it. But that's just the way he treats it. If I own that truck, I would treat it like my own truck. My own trucks that I have here. Be religious about maintenance and I'd always repair everything and make sure it's in perfect running shape. Anyway, so yeah, definitely some wild stuff happening lately here. Even here at the What's Happening Today. So whatever, I'm not going to really touch on that. But here's the, here's the thing. Here's I'm, I'm trying to really decide on what to do with the trucks. And this is, this is specifically if I were to get rid of both trucks as sad as it is my first truck to get rid of my first truck and my first diesel truck that i'd busted my knuckles for and did all this work to it already on my own it just kind of sucks but we would have to start over again oh don't get me wrong i love working on these trucks so that's the thing i'm willing to do it again and it doesn't bother me at all but what i'm thinking is is that even though it doesn't have a solid axle i'm kind of leaning towards the d-max and here's why it's because it has the strongest transmission out of three in my opinion it's a military military transmission brand they made transmissions for military equipment and tanks and stuff of that nature i think that's what i read on the in the one booklet i actually never knew that piece of information until now but the reason being is because it's just my first brand truck and i know the transmissions are the strongest now the cummins i'll always say that that is the best engine but i wouldn't say they have the best transmission and we know that all these diesels they last well well beyond 200,000 400,000 doesn't really matter but if you think about it, I mean, a lot of you guys are probably going to hold on to a truck that long, and I might even as well, but it takes five years to get to 60,000 miles on average. If you just drive average the average amount of time, especially if you put big tires on it, you're probably not going to drive more than average unless you really have to. So that's, that's what I'm thinking here is that after five years, if I only have 60,000 miles, I mean, having a truck that can last that long, I don't know where I'm going to be at, if I'm going to upgrade or not. Probably not. I'm probably going to keep it because, you know, I'm going to grow and attach to something, especially if I had a truck for five years. I've only had the blue truck for about three and a half years. So that's, and that's even a long time to th really think about to have that truck that long and been through so much with it, so much off roading, getting stuck so many times, flooring it so many, it's just everything I put through that truck specifically is crazy and it's really held up well. And it's been my first brand Chevrolet. And I guess it would be the way to go if I were to merge these trucks into one. And I do love the new body style. And here's the thing about the Ram. I mean, I could wait and then see maybe they'll change the body style 2020 for the 2500. But that's that's kind of far-fetched. I'm kind of I'm kind of waiting on something that you know. Even if they do change the body style, I might not even like it. So I don't know. They might they might put the Ace in transmission in the 2500s. Then it would be whoa, whoa, what do I do now? Should I go with the Ram? Should I go with the Chevy? I've always thought about the Ford, but I don't think I'd ever learn anything from that because it's just so crammed in there. You can't really get to any anything. It's really it really is a tough decision. But I'm kind of almost coming down to the fact that I just want to pick one like that, flip a coin basically. I don't know. If that were the case, if I do that, that's the thing, if I even do that. So there's so much thought to me what I have to do here, and I don't even... When it comes to the most expensive one, that is the Chevy, and what I'm really thinking here is that, you know, you can't even tune the Chevys anymore, and let's say that the Ford or Ram, you're able to tune them for, let's say, another five years. For some reason, they don't they don't catch on to encryption. People would always look for those 15, 16 Duramaxes, because 17 is the first year that you can't modify them. So you guys are probably wonder what's my honest opinion on the... <laughs> so at this point, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what are my political views? What do I think? What goes on in my mind? This mind that is so filled with just trucks, basically nothing else. The past, I don't even know, last couple weeks I've been staying up late, I'm exhausted today. Anyone or any group of people that doesn't want to put limits 
on our pickup trucks. If it wasn't for YouTube and Snapchat, I mean, basically I just hang around my friends that I've had since childhood and my family. So I kind of just enjoy what I have and I don't take anything for granted. Oh, there's a line of cars behind me. Can't you see that I'm hauling? Give me some space. The mirrors are up. <laughs> They better be rolling that to my house. I need it put in my gas tank. Is that D Max Jack? It's D Max Jack. Whoa. That was the GMC with my wheels. He must have stolen. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah! Regardless, it's called acid for the children. Of course. Some 